everyone, this is a world exposure. As thousands of barrels of oil spill into the Gulf of Mexico per day, and tar balls are starting to wash up upon Florida's beaches, the CEO of BP, Tony Hayward, decided to go on a yacht race on Saturday in England's Isle of Wight. Now on this side of the pond, Barack Obama played several hours of golf at Andrews Air Force Base and attended a Washington Nationals baseball game the night before. Now the White House is still taking the time to politicize all this. The White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel says that Hayward isn't going to have a second career in PR consulting. He also went on to politicize the situation, as this administration has been doing, by saying it would be dangerous if the Republicans gained power in Washington right now. If these two leaders would just get together for more than 20 minutes this time, and be open-minded to suggestion from each other and others, instead of letting this cowardly cold war between them continue on, I think there could be at least some progress in stopping this leak. Now, I'm not sure what Hayward's leisure itinerary has been as thousands and thousands of barrels of wasted oil pours out into the Gulf of Mexico, but I did find a list of how many thousands of barrels of oil has poured into the Gulf of Mexico during Barack Obama's leisure time spent as a celebrity. On an estimated loss of 30,000 barrels of oil a day, and this is actually an underestimation because now BP is telling us that it's probably 100,000 barrels of oil a day. Here's how much valuable time and oil is slipping away during Barack Obama's leisure itinerary. April 22nd, Earth Day reception, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. April 23rd, North Carolina vacation, 2 days, 60,000 barrels of oil wasted. April 26th, Gulf and Andrews Air Force Base, 5 hours, 6,250 barrels of oil wasted. April 26th, host the New York Yankees at the White House, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. April 27th, rhubarb pie in Iowa, 1 hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. April 29th, DNC fundraising dinner, 3 hours, 3,750 barrels of oil wasted. April 30th, Meeting with Bono, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. May 1st, White House Correspondence Dinner, 4 hours, 5,000 barrels of oil wasted. May 3rd, Host Navy Football Team at White House, 1 hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. May 3rd, Dinner with CEOs, Tony Hayward excluded, 3 hours, 3,750 barrels of oil wasted. May 5th, Cinco de Mayo Party, 2 hours, 2,000 500 barrels of oil wasted. May 6th, date night, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. May 8th, golf at Fort Belvoir, 5 hours, 6,250 barrels of oil wasted. May 9th, Hampton University commencement, 3 hours, 3,750 barrels of oil wasted. May 11th, golf and lunch with Joe Biden, 1 hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. May 13th, stop for hot wings in Buffalo, 1 hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. May 17th, host the University of Connecticut women's basketball team, 1 hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. May 25th, fundraiser for Senator Barbara Boxer, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. May 26th, Host Duke Basketball and U.S. Men's Soccer at White House. Two hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. May 29th, vacation over Memorial Day weekend. Two days, 60,000 barrels of oil wasted. June 2nd, Paul McCartney concert and award. Three hours, 3,750 barrels of oil wasted. June 7th, Kalamazoo Central High School commencement. One hour, 1,250 barrels of oil wasted. June 8th, White House picnic, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. June 11th, date night to a play, 2 hours, 2,500 barrels of oil wasted. June 13th, golf and Andrews Air Force Base, 4 hours, 5,000 barrels of oil wasted. So up until June 13th alone, with an underestimated loss of 30,000 barrels of oil a day, because now BP is telling us that it might be 100,000 barrels of oil a day, 187,500 barrels of oil have been poured into the Gulf of Mexico just during Barack Obama's leisure time spent as a celebrity. 
That's 7,875,000 gallons of oil. Now besides all of the destruction that this is doing to the wildlife, the water, and the beautiful beaches, think of how much oil is being wasted. How much money is all that? Then think about how bad this is going to hit the tourism industry economically. Just in Gulf Shores, Alabama alone, tourism is down 50% according to their mayor. Tourism is down in other parts of the Gulf Coast, not because there is any oil, but just because of the threat of oil.